All right, somebody tell me, really quickly, somebody tell me why Ron DeSantis' skin over here is looking like greasy ass feta cheese. I actually hate it, and I despise you homophobic people even more. So apparently, let's just look at this NPR article right now, and then we can talk while we read it. And of course, afterwards, NPR says Florida is investigating a teacher who showed a Disney movie with a gay character. And it's this big deal. Her name is Jenna Barbie. Let's talk about it. So a Florida teacher is under investigation by the state's Department of Education after she showed her students a Disney movie that features a gay character. As we can see here, like I said before, uh, the teacher's name is Jenna Barbie. She teaches fifth grade. Apparently a student's mother filed a complaint with education officials after she showed the film Strange World in her classroom. Now let's read the synopsis for strange world the film shows a legendary family of explorers uh, who must set aside their differences as they embark on a journey to a mysterious subterranean land inhabited by surreal life forms in order to save a miracle plant pando that is their society's source of energy now i actually did watch this movie a while back and it was fun it was a fun cute little family friendly disney you know car like it's just it was fun it was cute it was nothing crazy like i don't i mean so let's continue reading child so barbie said that the movie focuses on human's relationship to the environment which is why she chose to show it to her class after a section on ecosystems uh plants and animals she said a subplot about a boy having a crush on another boy never even crossed her mind before screening the film uh it talks about love to all things and that's literally what this movie represents barbie told npr i find it interesting that now i'm getting in trouble for a similar topic um they just talk about strange world and what it is it was i'm telling you it was a fun movie it was really tackling like generational problems and stuff like family issues too because the story centered around um this kid who was played by jabuki um and his dad of course and then you know the kid's grandfather so it's like you got the grandfather the dad and the kid and they're just all talking about their issues when it comes to their relationships with each other and you know the dad has real issues with his grandfather and the kid has issues with his dad so it's just it was really cool to watch them sort all of that out while also of course tackling the environment issues and stuff so it was, it was fun it was fun karen jordan a spokesperson for hernando uh county school district confirmed to npr in an email that both the district and the state are investigating the matter she said the district actually sent a note to the parents of the children in the class informing them that their children had been shown the film and the, here, here they go. While not the main plot of the movie, parts of the story involves a male character having and expressing feelings for another male character. Uh, in the future, this movie will not be shown. When asked why the district would no longer show Strange World, Jordan said, there is a school board policy that guides the use of movies in classrooms and that the movie may violate Florida's Parental Bill of Rights, a law signed by Republican Governor Ron DeSantis last year. Now, the law, which critics have dubbed Don't Say Gay, bars classroom instruction related to sexual orientation and gender identity in kindergarten through third grade. But I mean, my ass, once I saw this bill, I was like, girl, they're not gonna keep it there. Uh, in April, just at third grade, I knew they were gonna span that shit. In April, the Florida Board of Education approved an expansion of the ban to all grades. Um, of course, DeSantis has been targeting a bunch of shit. He actually signed into law this bill that apparently takes away funding for diversity inclusion uh, programs at institutions of higher learning. He also was trying to ban books about the fucking Holocaust or actually was successful at that. Um, Cassie, whatever her name is, press secretary for Florida Department of Education said in an email to NPR on Monday that the department couldn't confirm or deny, blah, 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 don't care. Uh, we already know she's being investigated. Like, girl, come on. Um, the issue came into public view after one of Barbie's colleagues tweeted a photo of the letter Barbie received from, uh, and I'll show you here, from state education officials informing her that she was under investigation. She posted a TikTok explaining everything, and I'll show that a little bit later in the video. But in an interview with NPR, she noted that Strange World also depicts heterosexual a heterosexual couple kissing, but said that only the same sex crush was the subject of the parents' complaints. And from my understanding, like she said, this heterosexual couple, these parents, whatever, they was kissing all up and through the movie. 
um, or embracing, whatever. But from my understanding, all the queer character did was barely talk about his crush on some other guy. Um, and it was just a couple of lines or something. So it's just interesting to watch the homophobic people try and come up with all kinds of like excuses or reasons when in actuality, y'all don't actually, y'all don't care because these heterosexual people be embracing and kissing and all type of shit in front of y'all kids in movies and commercials, all type of shit. Nobody got an issue with that, but we can't even, gays can't, queer people can't even talk, can't even have a couple of lines about um, who they interested in. You know what I mean? And it's it's really, it lines up to how, you know, you'll have these teachers, these straight teachers, these heterosexual teachers who can have all this conversation about what they did in, in front of the class. I remember sitting in school and listening to them talk about their fucking wives and their husbands and talk about their kids and talk about their family, what they did with their fiance, da 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 But a teacher who is queer might really not feel comfortable even putting a goddamn picture of their partners on the desk at, at school. It's absolutely ridiculous. Y'all be homophobic as hell. And I just, I always think about what this kind of representation or what, you know, just acknowledging the fact that LGBT people exist and everything, it's all right, like it's okay. I just think about what, what kind of wonders that would have done for my self-esteem when I was young, when I was in grade school, you know what I mean? Like just seeing like, oh, okay, gay people exist, <laughs> you know? And I knew gay people existed, but like just the discrimination and the hatred and the, you know, the way that kids or and adults would talk about gay people in school. It's just like, there was nothing to counter that. There was nothing to counter that, you know? There was nothing to, to, to speak against that. And so I had to go find things out for myself. And honestly, a lot of the ways in which I had to go or I felt like I needed to go find things out for myself because I was so alone and it, just in the dark, you know? A lot of the ways in which I did that when I was younger was completely fucking unhealthy. It was completely unhealthy, doing shit behind closed doors, running off with niggas, older ass. They, like, it's just completely unhealthy the times, kinds of shit I was doing when I was younger. And it's like, if only, if only I had some kind of, like, guidance, some kind of, like, okay, queer people exist. This is what's happening. It's okay to have a crush on a boy. You want, I mean... These are things that I think straight people do not even fucking think about. Like you walking around as a gay kid in school and you see all these other, these straight people holding hands, walking through the hallway, boyfriend, girlfriend, kissing, and, and people, you know, adults kicking and giggling and laughing. Oh my God, yeah, oh my God. I mean, from the moment that kids are born, you see them already, their parents already dressing them up. They, they baby boys up and oh my God, the shirts that say ladies man and shit. Like you see this shit from the moment that you enter this reality as a queer kid. You know, but you don't see yourself in none of that shit. And so you start to feel like, bitch, am I crazy as fuck? Like, am I a freak? You know, and that kind of thinking can really get some kids into some fucked up shit. And I'm saying this from experience because I was a young kid who I feel like if I had some more guidance, if I had some more reassurance, if I had some more like people saying it's all right to be queer there's certain dangerous situations that I probably would not have found myself in. So my thing is like, if y'all claim to care about these kids, y'all need to make sure that they fucking feel safe. And you need to make sure that they know that ain't shit wrong with them if they queer, because we got some of these motherfuckers who are in government, who are trying to act like they anti-LGBT and pushing anti-LGBT laws. You know what I mean? These Republicans, it's, you know, these bitches in government. But if you look at their internet browsing history, it would be all type of gay porn and that shit. And some, it's, it's some, it's actually predatory type shit that they try to project onto, you know, especially drag queens and trans people when y'all are the ones from the Catholic Church to the Southern Baptist Convention to y'all weirdo ass youth pastors, y'all the ones being actually predatory. And that's the tea. So like, like I said, I just, I really think that there's so many things that, you know, we, so many ways that we can protect these young queer kids, especially because honestly, if you're not, if you don't, if they don't feel safe, bring up certain things to you, these, there are predators around here who will latch onto the fact that these kids are alone. So instead of acting like you don't see queerness or like, kids can't be kids can't have fucking crushes on people instead of acting like that instead of acting like you never had cr a crush on you know somebody when you were in grade school and it, it's just it's it's not that different if you're queer as a kid you know like instead of acting like that we need to have actual conversations real conversations 
about what's going on. We need to make sure these queer kids feel all right and feel safe because like I said, there are people who will latch onto your, these kids' loneliness and isolate the fact that they're isolated and fucking abuse them. Y'all acting like, oh, kids are too young to see that. What? So a boy talking about having a crush on another fucking boy? They too young to see that shit, but y'all would have these fucking, you ever seen these social media videos of these parents having they fucking young ass boys at Hooters and shit? So a boy can, so y'all can, and it's crazy that y'all, I always say this, it's crazy that y'all will really be more excited to see a one boy punching another boy, one boy fighting another boy versus another boy giving them a hug, you know? And that says all you need to know about our society. But yeah, I just, I anytime these kinds of topics come up, I always think about how many fucked up situations, how many predatory ass people I could have avoided when I was younger, if I was having, you know, if I, if there was space for me, if there was space for me and there wasn't space. So I had to carve that shit out myself. And sometimes when you're young, you're just not experienced and people take it. People, especially like I said, predatory ass people will take advantage of your ignorance and your, the fact that you're isolated and the fact that you feel alone, you know, and y'all ain't talking to these kids about what's going on. So they going to find somebody to talk to. They go on the internet. They're going to find something like, it, it's, it sucks, but that's what it is. And so that's why I think it's like, we got to get ahead of the issue, get ahead of the problem, have conversations, make these kids feel like they, they are right. Like they are not alone. I don't, it's just cause it's going to fuck them up. This like stifling all this kind of stifling, this kind of pretending like LGBT people shouldn't exist or don't exist. Or like queer kids can exist. Like, and, 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 oh my goodness. I hate the fact that the argument that they bring up all the time, like, oh my goodness, they too young. They too young. They too young to know about this. They too young to know about it. Bitch, they weren't too young to call me faggot in fucking elementary school, bitch. Kids was calling people gay, all type of shit, gay Lord, all type of shit. in um, in, in what you call it, in, um, elementary school, elementary school, middle school. And where you think they got that from, from y'all house. So like they're young, but if they have enough sense to be able to be homophobic, we can, they can have a conversation about why it's all right uh, to, to exist as a queer person. Like you, you got to be kidding me. And I would much rather y'all just be saying, okay, I'm homophobic. Then acting, like, then coming up with all these reasons like, oh, they, you, they too young to know about this shit. They too young to have a crush. Bitch, you didn't have, cr you didn't have crushes on people when you was young, when you was a teenager, when you was young. You did. So queer kids can have them too. Like, get, get out of my face. Anyway, so I'm going to end this video with a bit of the TikTok that um, the teacher, Miss um, Barbie, Miss Jenna Barbie, um, just made about her experience for this whole thing. And then that's it. So thank you all so much for watching and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. Listen to what she's saying. Hi, my name is Jenna Barbie. I'm the teacher that is under investigation with the Florida Department of Education for indoctrination for showing a Disney movie. Um, I just wanted to come here and tell you my truth, my story about what actually happened. So I'm a first year teacher and a first time mom. So needless to say, I had a lot of learning to do this year. Um, so how the situation came to be, our students had standardized testing all morning. So some students didn't finish, so in the afternoon, Part of my students who didn't finish went to a different teacher's classroom and she split her kids amongst the other fifth grade teachers. So due to the fact that they spent their morning state standardized testing, I thought it would be a great time to give them a brain break by showing a movie that related to what we were learning about in school. Other fifth grade classes did this as well. So I wanna bring up the issue that I'm in trouble for. I was told by every teacher and mentor at our school that our method for approval by administration of showing movies was to have a signed parent permission slip for PG movies. I had that from the beginning of the year. Uh, the reason I was turned in is because one of the split students was a school board member's daughter. That school board member is currently on a rampage to get rid of every form of representation out of our schools. She even spent days this past week going to all the high schools to get rid of anything that had to do with representation whatsoever. She even had admin escort her to a teacher's classroom that had a sticker of a black hand and a white hand holding hands and the white hand had a different color fingernail for every finger. 
So the school board member called the Department of Education on me for indoctrination before ever coming to our school to talk with me or admin about the situation. So I chose this movie because it relates to our curriculum. So this movie is perfect. My thought process was what a better way to showcase all these standards along with huge lessons of overcoming differences, spreading kindness, communication, and chasing your dreams. A lot of which were in our, are in our social emotional Florida best standards as well. Is a character in the movie LGBTQ? Absolutely. Is that why I showed it? No, I have a lot of fifth grade students who have come to me this year long before showing this movie talking about how they're part of that community as well. And it's not a big deal to me. So I just said, okay, that's awesome. Do you, um, not pushing anything, just being accepting. That's what I do. Um, does that have anything to do with why I showed it? Not in the slightest. The LGBTQ aspect, uh, of the movie, they're harmless. It's just a talked about crush and it's only a couple lines in total scene time of just over two minutes. The parents in the movie kiss a lot <laughs> and that wasn't even brought up and that's the issue. I also want to bring up a fact that none of my students cared or batted an eye. They didn't even know this was a big deal until the board member and the state made it a big deal. They're using it against me, saying they're protecting the children and it's for their safety. But what is this actually showing them? Their teacher showed a movie to help them connect to our curriculum and learn some valuable life lessons. But the minor representations that have nothing to do with the movie are such a big deal that now admin is in their room, pulling their teacher out, calling the students one by one down to the office to interrogate them in the middle of my lessons. And now there is an investigator from the Florida Department of Education coming to pull my students out of class again to investigate them individually. And by the way, they don't even have to have a signed parent permission slip for that. Do you know the trauma that that is gonna cause to some of my students? This is the public education system where students from all backgrounds, cultures, and religions are welcomed and should be celebrated and represented. I am not and never would indoctrinate anyone to follow my beliefs. I will, however, always be a safe person to come to that spreads the message of kindness, positivity, and compassion for everyone. That is the key to the safety for our children. That is the key message that everyone needs to find in their heart and understand. I was taking stuff off the walls the other day and I had a student come to me and say, Miss Barbie, why are you doing this? And it's because of the new law that was put out about everything being standards. And I said, well, this is what's happening. And they said, why don't we get a say? That's a good point. Why don't you get a say? If you haven't seen the Disney movie, Strange World, I highly recommend it. And for those of you who are throwing hate my way without knowing me or my true intentions, you may learn a thing or two from that movie. Follow your heart, find the compassion, find the kindness. It's the key to a better, positive life. Thank you.